everyone, it's me, Raquel from Succulents Box. Today, let's talk about how to grow and care for Semper Vivum. Semper Vivums are usually called hens and chicks succulents because they produce many offshoots surrounding the parent plant. These offshoots help Semper Vivums spread easily and make them a wonderful ground cover. These succulents can thrive almost anywhere in any weather and can even stand short periods of freezing temperatures. Now let's get to the general care. Semper Vivums are not toxic. They are safe for animals and humans, but we still recommend that you keep these plants away from curious pets and children to protect their foliage. Regarding the amount of light exposure, Semper Vivums are very versatile. They can thrive in many different lighting conditions from full sun to partial shade. However, it's important that your succulent be protected from harsh, direct sun. If you plant outdoors, your Semper Vivums need to have some shade during the afternoon between 12 to about 6 o'clock. Turn your succulents every so often so that they receive even amounts of sunlight. When it comes to watering, you should start to water your Semper Vivum once every two weeks, then check the soil moisture to adjust the watering schedule. These succulents should be watered when their soil is completely dry. You should also use the bottom watering method or a watering bottle to avoid getting water on your Semper Vivum's leaves. When it comes to temperature, Semper Vivums are extremely hardy. However, it's best to keep this succulent at a stable and relatively warm temperature around 60 to 80 degrees. As for humidity, the ideal level should be around 40% or lower to prevent mold and diseases. In terms of soil, Semper Vivums thrive in porous, well-draining soil. They are not picky, so any type of ready-made succulent and cactus soil mix should do. Similar to most succulents, Semper Vivums do not require fertilizer to thrive, but if you'd like to give them a little nutrients boost, you can add some compost to your soil mix whenever you repot your succulent. When you repot your Semper Vivum, always do so during the growing season. Repot every one to two years in a pot that's at least 10% larger than its previous pot. When you choose a pot for your succulents, prioritize drainage. Pots made of porous materials like concrete, ceramic, terracotta with drainage holes are the best for your succulent. Propagating Semper Vivums is very easy with offshoots. First, wait until the root offshoots develop their own root system before removing them. Once the pups have grown large enough, use clean and sharp pair of scissors to detach them from the mother's plant root system. Allow the offshoots to callus over for a day or two. Plant offshoots in well-draining soil and mist the soil frequently to keep it moist but not too soggy. Semper Vivums are monochromatic plants, meaning they flower before they die and give you new plants. These succulents go dormant when temperatures drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. During dormancy, reduce the amount of sunlight and watering for your succulents. Give about half as much water as you would during the growing season. Inspect your plant regularly for any signs of trouble and disease to avoid unwanted pests. That's it for today's video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments section below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.